Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install BlackBerry 10.2 on your BlackBerry 10 device. And uh, it's going to be a pretty simple step and I'll try to move as fast as possible. So provided that you just downloaded or did part one of this video, which is basically finding the correct OS, chances are link is going to be in the description. But uh, basically you're going to get this file after you download it. So just drag it and put it in a new folder, label it BlackBerry 10.2 just to be safe make things a lot easier and then you just right click and extract the files right here uh, to extract the files you're gonna need either uh, well to extract this uh, raw well it dot rar or a uh, raw file you need to get either uh, 7-zip or winraw uh, I'll put links in the description down below for you guys to download so what you want to do is make sure you have all those programs to just open this up and extract it like I just did by right clicking and extract the files in the folder so you know where everything is and it's going to be a lot easier for you. So that being said, what you have to do now, it's obviously just wait it out. The estimated time is 4 minutes, so I'll see you guys back in 4 minutes time. So uh, before we continue, one thing that I must let you guys know and I can't emphasize this enough is before you even do any of these things, make sure you do a backup on your BlackBerry phone. From part one of this video, you probably heard me say about eight times, uh, doing this procedure or step, make it everything on your device is lost. So you want to be really certain that you made a proper backup. How do you make a backup? Use the BlackBerry uh, Link software. Uh, just Google BlackBerry Link. I'll put a link in the description as well for you guys to make the backup. Uh, so BlackBerry Link, it's pretty straightforward to connect the device and just simply click on it and just hit backup. And uh, you can backup all your pictures and all that, uh, all your contacts, apps. But uh, it's 50-50 with the app sometimes, depending if it's sideloaded. But ensure you do a backup. So I'll see you guys in three minutes now. I can see right there we are going to hit the 100 in a couple of seconds. So it took about four minutes just to... Uh, extract the file so you should see this pop right up right here so what do you want to do it's before you proceed ensure you made a backup like I just said um, and you want to ensure that the BlackBerry link software that's this uh, right here you want to ensure that BlackBerry link is closed but make sure that there's no BlackBerry logo here the BlackBerry link logo here and this is what the logo looks like in case many of you are wondering this sign right here anyway okay so the very next step what you want to do and you got to do this really fast or quite you know fast uh, it's you want to go to the top of the device and you want to make sure you power down this and the very moment that you power down this you want to make sure and click on the SQN exe file so I'm going to show you how it's done this is the trickiest part of like doing this so I'm gonna hold down this and the very moment that uh, happens, I'm going to basically launch the .exe file. And hopefully I can do with some really good video editing here and uh, see how this works. So on a device, on the computer, it's going to say resetting device. You just got to wait, wait it out. You're going to see and listen so you hear everything as closely as possible. So you're going to hear that. You heard the beeps. Wait for it. So I'm gonna type in, type in your uh, passcode that you have on the device. The very next step, what do you want to do? It's basically type in the passcode that they ask you for right here. So whatever your passcode is, you want to make sure and enter it, and then just hit enter on the keyboard. So what you're going to see, it's basically uh, that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see the green light on the BlackBerry phone on a device. It's going to go green. And on the computer, it's just going to be uh, uploading RAM image, blah, 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 whatever it is. So. What you want to make sure you don't do at any point, it's basically you do not want uh, the device to be disconnected or the power to go for some reason. 
but just don't disconnect the device. So just to let you guys be updated, this is going to reach like 100 and it's going to repeat it again. So uh, like I said, if you reach this part, you cannot get back any of your uh, information from the phone. Everything is lost. Um, yeah, so see you guys in a bit. There's nothing. So the exe file just exited as you guys saw it just like went like really fast. So what I want to let you guys know is this is going to be the first uh, boot up of the phone or and uh, the software. So it's going to take quite a, some while. Uh, this just took me about two minutes to start up, but uh, I deleted a piece of a uh, couple minutes, of, uh, the minutes of the footage. So let's see how it looks. So the next step is to check which software we have. So on the device, so I'm just going to go down to uh, OS. So in the OS bill, you should see this right here. So thankfully, it worked out for us, and that's how you load a leaked OS on the device. So guys, so be sure to hit the like button. Uh, give it a like for this video, a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to share it with your friends and let everyone know how to... Uh, load a leaked OS on your BlackBerry phone. This will work for all devices uh, Q5, Q10, Z10, maybe ZZ30 as well uh, Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. I really really hope you guys hit the like button. See you guys in the next video